Hi everybody. I want to do some quick messages from your person. So if you're following my YouTube channel, um, as always, you know, th this may or may not be your messages. It's totally possible. I just like to reiterate, it's totally possible that my monthly Zodiac videos will be the energy group that you're in and that those will resonate for you. But these individual messages may or may not resonate. These are different energy groups that I kind of channel at random, I believe. Unless you're following my my individual readings and they're all resonating, I don't I don't know what energy group I'm channeling when I do these, so they're just sort of random. Whatever the cards want to say may or may not be for you. If they're not for you, just keep following my um, zodiac videos. Those those ones might be for you. Those ones might resonate if this one doesn't. Anyway, what do the cards want to say? You've been showing up in my dreams lately. I've daydreamed about what it might be like to be married to you. So someone, someone's in the energy of daydreaming about you a lot because we have dreams in two different places here. So someone's really kind of in that energy of, of fantasizing and um, nostalgia, maybe like an introspective type energy. There might be some regret here. Could be a fire sign. I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. Yeah, because this is someone that's I mean, they're fantasizing about you. They're missing you, but maybe a lot of time has gone by, so they're not really sure if you would be open to them reaching out, or maybe they, they ghosted you, or they kind of just ignored you or pushed you away in the past, so they're not really sure if they still have a chance. Um, I feel like your energy has changed since you guys last talked, like you've really evolved. Um, you've matured, and your person has also matured. You guys just had to go down two separate paths because you weren't I don't know if you were like enabling each other or maybe it was just like you guys were happy. So it's like you weren't, I don't know what it is. It's like you guys were like, you can, I feel like you can learn lessons together when you're happy. I mean, you can have that, but maybe there was just something that your person needed to go through on their own. Um, maybe, maybe they just needed a little bit more life experience so that they can be mature enough for the kind of commitment and relationship that you're seeking. Maybe they just weren't quite ready for you. It's like, I feel like there was like happiness there. So I don't know why you guys couldn't just learn those lessons together. But maybe, maybe they just got too comfortable and they just, um, maybe they ran or maybe they were just too comfortable and they, um, they just needed to go down their own path for whatever reason for a little while. But yeah, this person is, they're waiting for you to give them an opening. They don't know how you feel anymore because a lot of time has gone by. Maybe they messed things up in the past. Um, I mean, it would make sense if they had to go out on their own. They, they just, they weren't mature enough for the kind of relationship that you were trying to have with them or where it was going. Like they weren't quite ready for you. So it's almost like they had to go out in the world and mature and experience life. Um, maybe gain some independence and, and then come back around when they're, you know, when they've evolved but you guys have both been growing you've just been doing it separately but you've been mirroring each other so it's like as you heal they've been healing as well and like when you're healing yourself they feel that energy like they it's like as you heal yourself you're also healing them and vice versa like sometimes they'll have a really good day and they'll feel good and you'll just feel their energy and you don't even know where it's coming from but it might be coming from them because I sense a strong psychic energetic connection here as well so I feel like you guys are kind of mirroring each other. This could be a twin flame. This might be a twin flame. I have been putting the intention in of doing more twin flame readings because I know a lot of people like those. So I was thinking maybe I'd do some more of those and it makes sense that I would channel a twin flame connection or at the very least a soulmate. Um, I've never felt this way before. Yeah, it's a very strong connection. I feel like they're really turned on by your energy right now. I don't know if they're like stalking you on social media or like asking friends or family about you or maybe it's just like maybe with the psychic connection maybe they're just meditating and they're just feeling your energy but they're really turned on by by your energy at the moment like they're really like intrigued by you I sense a more I sense them in like a more gentle energy than they were in before like I feel like they're more gentle more kind of shy kind of sweet um I feel like 
like you've leveled up, like you've matured and they're noticing it. I don't know if they're actually like physically seeing your post or if they're watching you somehow or if they're just feeling that energy, like they can just kind of psychically get that sense that you've leveled up or maybe their dreams have told them. I'm not sure, but, but they're feeling it for sure. Yeah, they're in more of a sweet, gentle energy. I feel like this, it's more, this is more gentle than, um, than I would expect, actually. It's it's like they've I don't know. It's just it's like a very sweet energy. How do I explain that energy? Like very like innocent almost. Like maybe they're like in a kind of like an innocent type energy. Maybe they're just really nostalgic for you right now. I want to take things slowly and get to know you better. So they're wanting to maybe not rush things. Um if you guys rushed before, maybe they they liked it, but they wanted to slow it down this time. I can't tell if you're interested. I'm bad at picking up hints. So yeah, they're wanting to talk. They're just, yeah, they're jealous. They're afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating someone else. So there's that desire to talk there, but they're not sure if um, if it's too late. I feel like maybe you guys just haven't talked in a long time. I feel like a very innocent, sweet kind of relationship here. It's interesting. It's like there's a lot of support. Like you guys really... Like you care about each other a lot or you're just, I don't know. I feel like you pick up on each other's energy a lot. Like it's very, it doesn't feel toxic to me. Like it feels, I don't know if it was toxic before, but the current energy I'm feeling is it feels very like gentle and sweet and just kind of fun loving, kind of like someone, like two empaths being together, you know, like they ask how you're feeling, if you've had enough to eat and you do the same for them. Like just a very supportive relationship. Um, maybe that's what you guys were aiming for before, but they needed to go out and learn some things on their own the hard way. And now they're mature enough for that kind of relationship that you're wanting. Uh, what's their most likely actions towards you in the next few days or so or week or so? I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring up my softer side. I want to be open, honest, and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. Yeah, if they were hiding something from you, they're wanting to tell you now. I do feel like they're really missing you. I feel like this person, this person is thinking about you quite a bit. There's no one like you. I realize now I won't be able to find a love like ours with someone else. This person, it's like a very, God, how do I explain that energy? It's like so innocent. It's like, I'm not even getting like a very sexual energy. Not that, not that there's not sex. I mean, not that it's not sexual. I'm sure it was, but it's almost like if you guys were to have sex, they would be super gentle, like, okay, tell me what your safe word is, like, like, super, like, attentive, like, does that feel good for you, like, do you like that, like, I want to make sure I do this right, like, just very, like, like, almost like a shy, sweet, nerdy boy or girl next door type energy that they're in, I don't know, I don't know if they were in this before, though, like, maybe it was, like, they weren't, maybe they were kind of different before, because they were going through, a, you know, a hard time in their life, but now they've grown and matured, and now they're, they're in this, you know, they're, they're in more of a gentle energy now than they were in the past. Um, and you bring that out of them too. They're romantic and emotional and they, they hide it well, but you bring out their softer side and they really want to open up and be honest and vulnerable. I sense a lot of just very gentle energy. I feel like they're very sensitive too, which could be part of why they have a message. Like they might be afraid of rejection. Like I feel like I just get the energy of spying, but like in a cute way. I don't know how to explain that. Like, like almost like they see your post or they ask about you and they're like, wow, like he or she is really doing better for themselves. Wow. I'm surprised. Like they're like kind of turned on like, wow, like you really, you know, like you've, you've changed, you've matured as well. Like they're, they're hopeful because it's like you both have matured. You're both, you guys might've both been toxic and codependent in the past. And now both of you are more mature and more ready for this kind of sweet, gentle, open, vulnerable kind of relationship that you're both wanting, you know, like you're, you're both different people now. Um, so, so yeah, it's a sweet energy. Can we get any more cards? Any more, anything else on this? I'm being watched. I want to reach out, but there are people around me. So this could be a third party where they're like, might have gotten themselves stuck in something, but they're realizing that you're the one. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. Yeah, this person's wanting to come in, but again, they're very gentle. They're very sensitive right now. This is almost like a childish kind of energy, but like not in a bad way, but like childish, like, like childlike, like innocent, like 
seeing the world for the first time, you know? It's like they're very, just very sensitive right now. So they might be kind of afraid that you're going to get reject, that you're going to reject them. I'm aware that we're telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond, but they are, they're afraid that you're not going to forgive them. They're kind of, I sense like a timid, shy kind of energy too. So it's like, they're just not wanting to reach out because they're just, it's not pride though. Like with, I get this energy a lot, but usually it's like pride, like ego, like this person doesn't want to apologize, but it's not really like that. Like this person's totally willing to apologize. I think they're afraid that you're going to tell them to screw off or that you're going to ignore them or that. Like, it's going to be too late because I feel like they're very vulnerable and very emotional. Like, they're really thinking about you hard right now. Like, they're really missing you. Like, really, like, you're like their safe space. Like, you're like their rock. So they might be going through, like, a third-party situation or, like, toxic friends or family or, like, a karmic or some kind of situation that's really weighing heavily on them. And you're their safe space. Like, they dream about you. They think about you. They fantasize about you. They, um... It's like you're like a retreat for them in their head. Does that make sense? Like they kind of like, they just like they feel alone. And then like at night, they just like think about you. Like they fantasize about like holding you and being close to you and, and like almost like crying in your arms, to be honest. I sense a very gentle, vulnerable, sweet energy with this person. Like they want to cry in your arms. Like they want to break down crying in your arms is what I get. Like they're really, really um, vulnerable with you right now. And, and yeah, they're really, they're just, they're missing you. They're thinking about you. I get that a lot. I get the nostalgia really heavily. So it's kind of like, you're like a dream to them. You know what I mean? It's like, they, they are afraid that if they reach out and you reject them, that dream is gonna, is gonna be taken away. And that dream is all that they're holding on to right now. That, that dream of you is like what's keeping them going. So they're, they're in a bad living situation or they're like, maybe like coworkers or someone's bullying them or someone's stressing them out like because I sense the energy of them being very gentle and loving and like the people around them are very dominant like your person's kind of more submissive like they're in they're either they're in feminine energy so I don't know it could be a, a man in feminine energy it could be a man with a with a stronger feminine side um but I, I sense that they're more sensitive and vulnerable and the people around them are kind of more dominant and more um rough around the edges and maybe bossing them around or controlling them because I get the sense of them like isolating like I see your person almost like if you gave them a stuffed animal they're like really holding on to that stuffed animal or if you gave them something like a present they're really holding on to that present right now like it means a lot to them like they're looking at it and it reminds them of you or like maybe there's like a picture they have on their phone of you or something and they're like looking at it and it's like what what helps them survive what they're going through. Because I keep getting the energy of someone who like locks themselves in their room and like just doesn't want to deal with anyone and they just want to like curl up into a ball and hide. And then when they do that, you are what they hold on to. Like they, they hold on to this sentimental object that's, you know, that you've given them um, or like a picture of you or something. And they like fantasize about you. They think about talking to you. Like they, they have conversations with you in their head over and over again. Um, and they think about what it'd be like to just be able to like be vulnerable and open and cry in front of you and just be close to you again, you know, to have that kind of love back again. Um, but they're just, they're really afraid because they feel like a lot of time has gone by or maybe they messed up in the past. And so they feel like if they reach out to you, maybe you'll um, reject them or push them away. And then it's like, they don't have that to hold on to anymore. You know what I mean? Like they're going through a lot right now. So that memory of you is keeping them holding on, you know, like it's, it's how they survive. Like they, they retreat into this fantasy world that they've created in their head with, with just you and where it's just you and them, you know, that's like, like that memory of you is the only thing right now that's making them feel like they're not alone. Like those memories, thinking about the kind of love that you guys had, like just dreaming about you, fantasizing about you all the time, like just really missing you. Um, so they're in that dreamlike kind of energy. And so they're afraid to message because they don't want that dream to be destroyed because then it's like they're not going to be able to fantasize about you anymore because they're going to be like, it's going to make them sad because they're going to be like, wow, they don't want me. And they're going to feel rejected and alone even more. And it's just going to send them into a state of, of pain. So they're like trying to hold on to that dream and they're too afraid of, of, they're too afraid to say something. They're too afraid. They're too afraid of that dream being destroyed. Um, 
they're also very sensitive so they're they they might not like be ready for the kind of heavy conversations that you guys need to have or maybe it's like they're afraid of like the rejection like they're just really vulnerable right now like they would it's almost like they need to be babied right now. They really, they're really, I see them in fetal position, like crying. Like they need to be like babied and loved right now, to be honest. Like they need to be taken care of kind of like they're in a very gentle, vulnerable energy. So they're just afraid because every little thing is hurting their feelings right now. Um, I don't know if something made them so vulnerable. I'm like, what would make them vulnerable? This could be... Hmm. Could be someone who's going through a really serious life transition. Like maybe they've just made a decision to go through some kind of transition. Um, could be physically or mentally. They may be maybe going through something like that, like where they've just made a decision to go through a transition. Um, and that may be part of the vulnerability here. That could be that could be part of it. Because it's like they're just very gentle. They're very. I'm trying to figure out that energy. I feel like something's making them be that way. You know what I mean? Like, like hormones or something. Like they're horm hormonal right now. Like if they're like a female, like they're they're hormonal, or maybe like they're are they taking hormones? I don't know. It's weird energy. It's interesting. I mean, it's confusing because I keep thinking like, like what is that energy where it's like something's making them be like that? But I think you know what it is. Maybe it's meant to be personal. Like you probably already know what it is. But yeah, they don't know if they're brave enough for this kind of love. I think they're just kind of scared and vulnerable right now. I regret letting you go. I never should have left. I often think about the last night we saw each other. Part of me wants to come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere that I know you'd be. See, this is because they are afraid if they message you, you'll block them or ignore them. Or maybe you already have them blocked or... um like maybe you'll tell them off so that's like they're wanting to come to your door because then it's like they can see your facial expression they can talk face to face and they like they'll know what's going on you know what I mean like they'll have an answer you know because they don't know if they have a chance with you or not yet like I think they're kind of confused but they're very um very vulnerable so anyway, if this resonates, I do private readings. My email address is below in the description box and any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar really adds up quickly and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you for watching.